After the disaster of the 2013 trash can model, pros just wanted their big expandable towers back. The result was the 2019 Mac Pro. This was supposed to be the return of the cheese grater, Apple's grand apology to the creative industry. The plan was to finally give users exactly what they asked for, a modular beast that would last for decades. The specs were a flex. You can configure it with 28 cores, 1.5 terabytes of RAM, and dual graphics cards, pushing the price tag well over $50 thousand dollars. It was marketed as the ultimate future-proof machine, a safe haven for professionals tired of disposable tech. But barely a year after creators dropped the price of a luxury car on these towers, Apple made them obsolete overnight. So what went wrong? First, Apple cannibalized their own flagship. Just months after the Mac Pro launched, Apple introduced the M1 chip. Suddenly, a $900 MacBook Air was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with, and in some cases beating, this $50,000 workstation in single-core speeds. The Mac Pro wasn't just outperformed, it was humiliated by the cheapest laptop in the lineup. Second, the resale value was an absolute joke. Big creators like MKBHD and Mr. Who's the Boss spent well over $50,000 $50,000 maxing these machines out, trusting that a pro machine would hold value. But when MKBHD tried to trade his in for new silicon, Apple offered him $970. Think about that math. He bought a $50,000 supercomputer, and a year later, Apple valued it at less than a standard iPhone. Third, the promise of modularity was a trap. The whole selling point was that you could upgrade this thing for years. But because Apple switched architectures from Intel to their own silicon, there was no upgrade path. The MPX modules, the RAM, the $400 wheels, it all became a dead end immediately. In 2023, Apple finally updated the Mac Pro with silicon, leaving the 2019 model behind as a cautionary tale. It stands as the worst financial decision, a $50,000 supercomputer that got beat by a MacBook Air.